Greetings, Toiletarians! I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching Toilet Talk with Terry. That's me. Obviously, the discussion topic for this episode is... Oh, Nana. <laughs> yep. Me and my parents and my younger sister, we live in Georgia around the Atlanta area. Our Nana lives in Mariana, Florida. When me and my sister were little kids, mom and dad would, they would let Nana borrow us for a week every summer. And let me say for the record, each week we have spent with Nana ever each week is a total laugh-a-thon. First things first, we get to her house, and she'll have trouble parking the car. I get out of the car, I watch her, she's struggling really, really bad, and I'm like, uh, Nana, you're on the grass. You're on the grass. You're on the grass. Okay, that's more like it. Way to go. You're on the grass again. But that's not all. She would also accidentally move her seat forward a little bit. And she would be closer to the horn and the radio buttons. And because she was so close to them, her chest area would rest on the horn. And the horn would honk nonstop. And then she would accidentally turn on the radio. I remember one time on the radio when she accidentally turned it on. It was the song, I like big butts and I cannot lie. She turned it off and she was like, I'm, I'm glad you like my butt. Which, despite that, is probably the reason I cannot get out of this car. How about I escape instead through the hatchback trunk? Annabelle and I are like, oh, Nana. Mm-hmm. Later on in the evening, she would try to teach us how to play the trombone, but it was to a total disaster. Even though I'm laughing still, it was a disaster. She didn't know this yet, but while she was trying to play the trumpet, the air wasn't coming from the trumpet. It was coming out of her butt. And she didn't even know. <laughs> Annabelle and I, Annabelle's my sister, by the way, it's the name, we <laughs> tried to tell her that, and she was like, oh, nonsense, nonsense, grow up and mature, my dear children, and we were like, oh, Nana, <laughs> every time I were to step foot in her kitchen, she would ask me, to get some ice in a glass for her. But she said it, she would say it like this. Um, could you get an ice and put glass in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. That's not what was supposed to come out of my mouth. Young mister, will you get some ice in a glass for me, please? <laughs> See, she mixed up her words all the time, said them backwards. And this other time later on, she told us, Okay, children, today we are going to learn how to play the song Old MacDonald on the guitar. Are you ready? She starts playing and then she starts singing, Old MacDonald had some pants. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> and I was like, Old MacDonald had some pants? Oi, oi, oi. No. It's Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. She was like, are you certain? We were like, yes, <laughs> you're singing it completely wrong. She just shook her head in, <laughs> uh, in shame, and we were like, oh, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about her was that she would get jarred awake every morning by her own fart. But to me and Annabelle, from 
our sleeping room, it sounded like breaking glass. Our first morning there, when it happened, she and I freaked out because we thought someone was breaking into the house. <laughs> so we went to Nana. We were like, we think someone's in the house. We think someone's in the house. And she slowly, gradually got up from her bed and said, oh, that wasn't breaking glass, my dear children. That was me passing gas really loud. And we let out sighs of relief. And the next morning, we heard it again. We didn't freak out because we knew what it was, but then it was followed by Nana screaming, complaining, and supposedly cursing under her breath. <laughs> so we went in the room, we were like, Nana, are you okay? She was like, no, my anus just woke me up from my favorite dream ever. <laughs> uh, I remember this other time when Nana was going to the liquor store. There was nobody else to watch us, so we went with her. At the liquor store, well, out front of it, was a parking lot that was already full, so we couldn't park there. Then there was a railroad track in front of that, and then on the other side of the railroad track was additional parking, kind of like the overflow room. So when we got there and we couldn't find parking in the ideal spot, we had to cro cross over to the railroad track and sit in the overflow parking lot. But then, as soon as we parked there, a train was heard coming, and then the bars went down. Ding, 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 ding. Nana got so upset. <laughs> so upset. I'm not even exaggerating. She had her hands on the wheel, and then once she heard the train and the ding, 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 she was like, oh! <laughs> she cursed under her breath too <laughs> i was laughing <laughs> annabelle was laughing too but she didn't think it was funny <laughs> nana didn't think it was funny she's like that's not funny annabelle and i were like oh nana <laughs> in short ladies and gentlemen every time we would go stay for her or stay with her for a week at least, at least once each day, we had to say it because of something that went down or happened. Oh, Nana. Like I said before, it was a total laugh-a-thon. And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got a good laugh out of it, too. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. And if you're interested in more, subscribe to here for more upcoming content. It'll be amazing. You don't want to miss it. All right, keep it real. Peace out. Hold up.